With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we are going to see this question. The question says that basically the SI unit of the, the dimension in SI units, the dimension of one root over epsilon naught by mu naught is okay so basically we need to find the dimension of this quantity so basically firstly we'll write the dimension of epsilon naught and mu naught itself so epsilon naught's dimension is what basically epsilon naught's dimension so to write dimension we have to give a third bracket so that it's uh, legitimate looks legitimate okay so it is m minus 1 okay l minus 3 basically t 4 and a twice okay so this is basically the dimension of epsilon naught and mu naught is basically equal to the dimension of mu naught is m1 l1 t minus 2 a minus 2 okay this is the dimension of mu naught okay so simply now we will find out the dimension of that quantity which is given in the question so basically under root of under root epsilon naught by mu naught will be equal to what basically we have to write under root basically its dimension okay its dimension so it will be equal to under root firstly we'll give the dimension sign under root of so what is epsilon naught's things that are means dimensions will be m minus 1 l minus 3 t4 and basically a2 okay and down we will write m 1 l1 t minus 2 a minus 2 okay so this is what we are going to do so now we are going to calculate it so what we are going to get over here is that uh, we will get a value that is so we'll write it again okay under root of epsilon naught by mu mu naught so i hope this is only given the question because i have written it yeah epsilon naught by mu naught is equal to under root of so basically now we'll uh, solve the thing that is under root so what it will come basically so we'll solve uh, this one will go above and become minus one so it will become m minus two and basically l will also do the same thing so l will become minus four l minus four and t will become t six and basically a will become a four okay so if we do the under root of this quantity then what we'll get basically we will get we will get the value that is uh, m minus 1 l minus 2 t3 a2 okay this is what we're gonna get so we will match it with the options so there is only one option with a square a to the power 2 so we'll match it with that only a2 uh, t3 m minus 1 and l minus 2 okay so our answer will be option number d got it so this is basically our answer this must be remembered properly because this comes in handy a lot okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today